Not so fast, evildoer! It's jail for you, you tasty villain! You and your chocolate chip gang are through! Boy, eating cookies is hard work! Ah, but there's only one more box to go! And I'll have 20 box tops! And that means... I can get the Pajama Man action figure with titanic elbow thrust! I can hardly wait! Sam! It's almost time for dinner! Dinner? Oh boy, I don't feel so good. Uh-oh, I don't think that was me. Hey! Boy, first they spoil my dinner and now they've gone to cause trouble somewhere else. Somebody's gotta stop them. Somebody like... Pajama Sam! Of course, I'll need my cape. Nobody here but us potatoes. <laughs> All right, cookies. <laughs> I know you're in here. <laughs> what? Hey, that tickle. <laughs> Party! 
This looks like a job for Pajama Sam! Oh, I can't believe I ate the whole thing. You ate it, Sam. Great party. Yep. Of course, otherwise he wouldn't be here, right? This is a great party! I think I'm getting kind of full. Usually, I really like these. I think I'm getting kind of full. <laughs> well, um, thanks everyone. This is a great party, but I think I should be going now. It's almost my dinner time, and I wouldn't want to spoil it. My mom made all that broccoli. <gasps> Turtle! Jail! Jail! Mom! You can just wait here in jail until your trial next month, healthy boy. Next month? But it's almost time for dinner. Tell it to the fudge. Now if you'll excuse me, I've got to get back to the party. Fa la 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 la. I can't stay in here a whole month. I've got to get out of here. Bonbons! I like those. I like bonbons. Would you like a bonbon? No, thank you. I'm not really hungry. My name's Sam. I'm Florette. Are you a political prisoner too? I don't know. I think I'm in here because I said I didn't want to spoil my dinner. Hmm. The sweets don't always get along well with the other foods. But I'm not a food. Nice day, isn't it? This is... Oops. Gee, I didn't mean to break anything. Well, maybe this will come in handy. I wish candy canes were always this long. I like bonbons. I don't think that will do much good. This lock looks pretty solid. I don't think I can break it. It 
It's too bad I can't reach the key. Here, Florette. Do you not want to spoil your dinner too? I'm one of the delegates to the big peace conference at the food pyramid. Peace conference? Yes. Delegates from all the food groups are supposed to get together to work out our differences. I represent the vegetables. Oh. Do you like a candy cane? No, thank you. I'm not really hungry. Bonbon. I wonder if there's something I can use to get that key down from over here. I don't suppose you know how to pick a lock, do you? I'm afraid not. I guess we'll need the key then. I'll save it. I'm still a little full from the party. If I could just get that key, I could open the lock and we could get out of here. see what you being a... What did you call it? Peace delegate? Right. What does that have to do with you being in jail? Those sweets locked me up in here because they don't want the peace conference to happen. I had no idea that sweets were so mean. They're not all like that. It's mostly just this one group. Sometimes when you get a lot of them together, they get a little crazy. That's funny. My mom says the same thing about my big brother and his friends. We've really got to get out of here. You need to get to your peace conference, and I've got to be home in time for dinner. How are we going to get out? Never fear. Pajama Sam is here. I'll get us out of here. That's not going to do me any good. I deserve a reward. This is the key to the cell. Hooray, it's open! Sam, you did it! 
quick! Let's get out of here before they come back! Okay, let's go! <gasps> Sweet troops! We'd better not let them see us! I've got to get to that peace conference at the food pyramid as quickly as possible! Thank you so much for getting us out of there, Sam! You're a real hero! See you later! Those troops shouldn't bother me. After all, there's no blue food, right? But I'm not taking any chances! Market. Satisfied? Sure, there's nothing wrong with that. You really think so? Sure. Well, don't tell anybody just the same. We librarians have to keep up appearances. Okay. My lips are sealed. Thank you. What happens in your book? It's the story of three young women who fall in love with steelworkers during the disco era. Sounds kind of mushy. Oh, it is. Is there a car chase in it? As a matter of fact, yes. Lila has to chase Thurman to keep him from flying back to Cairo, where he's secretly a prince. That doesn't sound too bad. What's happening in the part you're reading now? One of the women, Beatrice, sits at the same bus stop every day with this man Kevin, but she never sees him because she only has one eye. Oh, it's terribly romantic. Tell me some more about your book. Trent and Kent, they're the twins, coincidentally wind up at the same restaurant at the same time and Elsie doesn't realize there are two of them. It's quite tragic. What else happens in your book? Mr. Burphy plans to close the steel mill, which would be awful because then Lawrence would have to move away from Betsy. Fortunately, Mr. Burphy develops a terrible rash and has to go to New Orleans. What's happening in the part you're reading now? Bruce accidentally gets stuck in a huge block of cement with only his head sticking out so Lacey has to feed him all his meals. Oh, it's so romantic, it makes me blush. 
tell me some more about your book. Visitors from space come to Earth, and Beth has to decide whether to stay with Michael or to run away with Zufrax. It's quite a dilemma. She loves them both. What else happens in your book? Franklin receives a leg transplant from a marathon runner, and they can't get him to stay at home. Oh, my! What's happening in the part you're reading now? Loomis loves Betty, but Betty loves Trent, and Trent loves Alice. Alice pretends to love Michael. Tell me some more about your book. Mr. Burphy plans to close the steel mill, which would be awful because then Lawrence would have to move away from Betsy. Fortunately, Mr. Burphy develops a terrible rash and has to go to New Orleans. What else happens in your book? Bruce accidentally gets stuck in a huge block of cement with only his head sticking out so Lacey has to feed him all his meals. Oh, it's so romantic, it makes me blush. Again, Sam. Ah, gee. Excuse me, I don't believe we've met. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm sorry. Sam, this is Luke Wigglebig from the Fast and Sweets. Luke, this is Pajama Sam. I was asked to be here because of my remarkably good taste. I see. These 
chairs are for the other four delegates to the peace conference. Carrot! Sam! Boy, am I glad to see you. The island of Mop Top is in big trouble. Mop Top? Yeah, Mop Top. Here's what's going down. The folks who live on Mop Top are all foods, right? The Fats and Sweets group is taking over. There's just so many of them. They're causing problems all over the island. General Beatfoot wants to declare war on them. That doesn't sound very good. You got that right. So, I've organized a peace conference. One member of each of the six food groups has been chosen as a delegate. And they're supposed to all get together here at the pyramid to talk out their differences. I think Florette said something about that before. Right. She's one of the delegates at the conference. Trouble is, only two are here and there are supposed to be six. That's bad news. We need everybody or the conference is off. What? The conference is off? All right, that's it. This means war. No, General, no. The conference is still on. Oh, one more thing, Sam. I've got to stay here and keep the general from declaring war. So somebody needs to find the other four delegates and get them here. They must have run into trouble or they'd be here by now. I can find them for you. Pajama Sam always helps those in need. But how will I recognize them? That part is easy. They'll all be wearing straw hats. Florette and Luke Wigglebig are here. The delegates still missing are Chuck Cheddar, Bean 47, Granny Smythe, and Pierre Lapin. Boy, I better find those delegates and get them here as fast as I can. This is the... to a tree like this. That's a good point. <laughs> what a cool looking tree. I think there's ketchup growing on it. And some other stuff too. I don't think I can get over there. It looks like it's too far for me to swim. What else do you like? 
like to do besides swing, Sprinkle? I used to like to swim quite a bit. Well, float, really. I'm a good floater. Excuse me, could you let me through? Wow! That horn is really big! Yes! It's called the Horn of Celebration. I like to blow it when I find the answer to a question I'm pondering. What happens when you blow it? Try it and see. That was fun! Not so loud next time. I'm Sam. I am called Syllabus the Sage for reasons I cannot fathom. Fathom? I sit here atop Mount Wisdom and ponder the deeper mysteries of the universe. What are you pondering right now? I'm wondering how gravity works. I mean, I can see that it does work, but how? That's a heavy question. Very funny. Are you still thinking about gravity? Yes. Maybe there are great big magnets inside the Earth that make gravity work. Interesting, but I doubt it. Hey, a gondola! I wonder where it goes. Hello! Howdy! You're wearing a straw hat. Are you one of the delegates to the peace conference? That's right. I'm Chuck Chatter. Cheese of Adventure! I'm on my way to the conference, but my balloon got stuck here in this blasted cotton candy cloud. There didn't used to be so many of them around. I'm Pajama Sam! Can I give you a lift? I can't leave the balloon behind, but there is something you can do for me. Pajama Sam always helps those in need! Well, that's me. You see, I need to add some weight to the balloon so it'll be heavy enough to get unstuck and float down. Why don't I climb aboard? No, no. It's got to be just the right amount of weight, you see? Or I'll go down too fast and crash. Oh, well how much weight do you need? That's the problem. I'm not sure. I'll need 10 pounds of sand altogether. But there's already one sandbag hanging under the balloon. And I can't see how much weight is in it. Can you see it from there? Don't worry, I'll think of something. I know you a big one. How much weight did you say you need for the balloon again? Ten pounds altogether, but there's already some in the sandbag under the balloon. This is fun! Resort! Whoa! 
Boy, this place has got everything! Skis and poles are self-service. Look at all those different routes! Great.